Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for December 10th to December 16th, 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards uh, I want to remind you once again that this is just a, a general reading for Scorpio star sign and it is not your personal reading therefore in this video I will try my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but at the end it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation now if you want me to do that for you just like I'm doing with the examples in this video uh, then that will be a matter of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing and as the Christmas is approaching there is a Christmas deal that goes on um, regarding the services regarding the 30 and the 20 minutes reading basically their prices are reduced so if you want a personal reading live reading with me and you want to save some money that is the way you go <clears throat> in my opinion so that being said these are the cards for the main cards for the weekly reading uh, the first one is the nine of cups which falls into the position the topic of the week four of wands it is the uh, core of the situation six of pentacles falls into the challenges which are causing predicaments and the last one that is to be the tower card which is the guidance that Taro is offering for us Scorpios additionally to them we're going to do an enhanced spread which is basically additional card to every single position so let's uh, dive a little bit deeper into the spread and all in all just from the first glance uh, this spread points to that we are to put behind our backs some uh, past experiences or a uh, current experiences current um, enterprises that we are doing which aren't working for us in um, in much of a favor you know and from now on from this week moving on forward we are to uh, put more attention or rather uh, you know, strive more toward those kind of an enterprises and activities which we are finding many bene very beneficial and very exciting and emotionally indulging with ourselves. That is the cumulative look of the reading. But let's go deeper into the cards. Now, the first card, the Nine of Cups, is a topic of the week, obviously points emotional satisfaction, exhilaration. And that will be due to the fact here that uh, we are almost at the end of a, a very important um of a very important achievement of ours uh, the nine of cups is associated with that everything we are doing and everything that we touch is going to simply happen it is like the, uh, the the fortune itself is helping us scorpio to make our dreams come true however uh, these dreams that we can make come true they will be very unstable in their initial state like for example you dream to be with someone in a relationship and that week you can establish that relationship yet that relationship is going to be very unstable and thus we need to keep on working upon it all right upon those achievement of ours so we can sustain them or in other words so we can traverse the short term happiness into a, a long lasting one uh, because with the nine of cups the achievement itself it's the piece of the cake or all right it is kind of like the easy part of the job sustaining it that will be the hard part of our job that we need to uh, kind of like work over the additional card to it that is going to be the seven of wands and here we are seeing that um how can i place it mm, really that jealousy which is coming from um, the exterior people right so with this particular combo here uh, although our uh, 
week is going to be exhilarating and very happy in the same time there will be people there which uh, kind of like doesn't want to see us happy for one or another reason you know just to give you an example of that uh, maybe you are to be offered you know a new job in a different state you know and not that you're friends or your partner doesn't want to uh, take you that it doesn't want you to take that job but they will be uh, resilient to the part where you have to move in a different state you know so the reason behind that uh, competition or that obstruction here from the peripheral people is going to be different for every single one of us but all in all you need to know here with the seven of uh, wands is that as soon as you know these predicaments or these problems with the people around you start arising you have to address them straight away that is the key of how one overcomes the seven of wands uh, difficulty here especially coming with the nine of cups you need to know that these cards are natural enemies all right so the longer you allow those people to kind of like influence the good advance or rather like the positive advance or unfoldment of your enterprises the more you are are going to ruin your enterprises so as soon as you see that someone is basically kind of like a undoing what you are doing if I may express myself that way or is sabotaging what you are doing you have to address that sabotage and you have to basically smother uh, straight away the competition with one decisive strike now the next card that we do have that is going to be the core of the situation or why you are to be very exhilarated and it's obvious here the four of wands that is the card pointing to a completion or completion of a very very important cycle now you need to know here that uh, because we do have the ten of pentacles probably the price you Scorpio or we Scorpio paid for that we have that, that completion of a cycle you know has a, was a, a very big price because the appearance of the ten of pentacles here with that combination and that further does not give us you know the luxury here to allow others to kind of sabotage our work all right just so you know again i want to stress it here sabot the sabotage will be just as big as we let it to be all right but if we address it straight away and we don't allow those people which are sabotaging our work to actually get into serious actions then it's um their influence or kind of like the this the the impact of that sabotage is going to be very negligible but let's go again to the um to the core of the situation what we do have here it's uh, that uh, this this completion, it's kind of like, a, how can I explain it really? It kind of strain you or uh, rather attach to you or is to attach us um, to some strings. All right. So from now on, we have to follow a, a certain code of conduct, which kind of makes sense because if we are sticking to the example of the relationship that, you know, you wanted to be in a relationship, but now you are, you have to oblige to the new code of conduct here where your uh, personal freedom and personal independence is going to be diminished. Basically, is going to be abated severely because you have to take under consideration that you need to kind like um, you know uh, please someone else right so you need to have a, a coexistence here with someone else as well and uh, <clears throat> that being said with uh, with this foundation that you are going for it is very important that you are uh, meticulous with recognizing the important matters in what is to follow after you know with that exhilaration here because there is a chance that an important matters are to be overlooked Scorpio and that chance severely increases if you allow other people to mess with your stuff so that week it is all about you don't allowing other people to mess with your stuff and if you do so and if you follow you know your your creed your agenda or uh, whatever plans you made in the past then it seems that they are going to get just better and better again as long as you don't allow others to influence your um, your advanced thought or to you know 
basically to infiltrate uh, your work. The challenges which are causing predicaments here, that is to be the Six of uh, Pentacles. And Six of Pentacles is a challenge point to uh, resolution, <clears throat> first of all, to resolution of, uh, of an old, uh, old issues. And, and that is kind of understandable, it is because now you do have a different foundation, you know, you do have your completion of an, an important cycle, and now it's time to celebrate it and to kind of sustain it, you know. And the, the last thing that we Scorpio are to uh, wish you know is to kind of like retract back and to address some issues which are seemingly kind of like irrelevant these days uh, the other thing that could come as a predicament here is just going with the flow let me draw one more card here that is to be the uh, the emperor so it is about the predicaments and it is about the going with the flow because what we do have is that if you Scorpio are to address the uh, the old issues that are made left unsolved that speaks that we are to jeopardize the current stability that we have established here with that um, cycle of development that we are finalized another cycle of development that does not mean end of the goal I want to give you an example of that so cycle of development means a step forth for example if you want um, to be in a relationship with someone, let's go with the relationship. A there are a lot of cycle of developments into one relationship. The first cycle of development that is to be the texting, you know, and and uh, messaging, calling on the phone, and etc. etc. As soon as this cycle of development is finished, then you start dating. As soon as the dating cycle of development is finished, you jump into relationship. As soon as the relationship cycle of development is finished, you go into engagement, for example, and etc. etc. And in every single of those cycles of developments, of course, the next cycle of development could be a, a breakup as well. But let's not go into that. It's just you need to know that that is kind of like a milestone here and a very important one, which is going to give you a, a new fields for you to improve in your life. But uh, what we do have here is that if you uh, go for the old issues of yours that has nothing to do with the topic of this week because they are not going to have anything to do with the topic of this week you will have to kind of like jeopardize the control that you have established in the stability upon the current advance that you are um, making right here in this side of the reading all right that thing that comes as a dream of yours all right so uh, that kind of um, gives the conclusion to the reading that here and there, you know, some problems that you thought are resolved and that we Scorpios in general thought that are uh, kind of like uh, uh, left in the past and they are just buried down there and they will never uh, have to be addressed any longer are going to immerse beneath the surface and of course it's going to be difficult for us you know to basically put our attention into them so that will be the difficulty for uh, for a Scorpio additionally additional difficulty for us is going to be to um, kind of cope with the annoying side of of our enterprise which is here because the nine of cups is always straining toward the positivity you know toward the emotional indulgement and emotional heights and etc etc but again one enterprise is like a coin it has its two sides one side is pleasant the other is unpleasant like um, you do have a uh, tasks that you really enjoy and yet you do have chores accompanying them and what will be difficult for us is to cope with the chores just to give you an example uh, I love doing readings you know for people it is just something that I really really enjoy and love doing it's just making general readings like these videos that is a little bit difficult for me and I cannot say that it's really a chore but it's, it's kind of like it doesn't make much of a satisfaction for me all right and that is something that I have to cope with all right that is going to be a, a difficulty for me for the next week but yet if I have to give myself for an example here I am seeing that I will have some quite of a successful approach with this new readings that I am doing 
because this is a, a new type of reading that I'm doing. So I am finalizing an important cycle of development here and I am starting a new one. So it all comes to my consistency, all right? So I have to contain it. This short-term success needs to be consolidated. It needs to be basically processed further for the lack of better terms so I have to be consistent that is the example with myself as I'm not in a relationship I cannot give you a relationship example with myself you know but generally that's that and the last card here that is going to be the tower card with the hierophant which is the guidance the tarot is offering so the tower card on its own it is very uh, ominous card you know many people see it as a, a uh, as a tragedy and as a um, uh, something very bad happening and etc etc uh, in reality the tower the tower card could be very positive one now in this case what we do have here with these couple of cards is a, a flash of insight right so you are or we Scorpios are to have those flashes of insights uh, which are going to prove us wrong in some of our beliefs so what happens with this combo is that those flashes of insights are to make current beliefs of ours and to prove them outdated and through that for example just to give you an example here you want to date someone and until this very moment, you know, you had a criteria that they have to be very handsome above everything else. And those flashes of insight throughout this week are to make you realize that actually it has to go more than a skin deep, you know, the outer beauty is not everything. And that may reshuffle your criteria and through there the cycle of development is going to be uh, completed where you find through your new criteria, a, a partner that suits the new criteria of yours, right? So that is kind of like an example we go with. But yeah, these flashes of insights here, it may they may place you in a in a bit of an uncomfortable position, all right, where uh, a lot of structures you have built in your life, like uh, understandings and like the way you live in general. For example, those flashes of insights could be about how one copes with life. You know, just to give you, uh, just to put an example here, uh, you may like to to party a lot, and throughout this week, a flash of insight may come telling you you know that parting is not everything i mean you have to focus on more substantial things in your life you know and by that realizing that this is actually very true and parting is outdated it's for teenagers and etc etc you are to establish that cycle of development or to finalize that cycle of development and now improve yourself career wise or relationship wise or etc etc it does depend however on your personal beliefs how you take on life but what you can expect throughout that week that the week itself or the universe is going to guide you for a, a brand new way how you cope in life and should you follow that brand new way then you are to kind of reach your cycle of development here finalized with much bigger ease so basically do not struggle as we said going with the flow you know you may find it very difficult to go by with the flow but this is exactly what you need to do or what we need Scorpio to do because what I like to say is that going against the flow the only thing that we can uh, or going against the current is only th the only thing we are to accomplish with it is just struggling and sitting in one place it's the same thing like swimming in a river try to swim against the current in in one river what you're going to accomplish you're gonna struggle and you're gonna sit in one place you're not gonna make much of a progress or if you do it's gonna be progress toward the backwards and the very least what we do have here we are seeing cleansing and nurturing effects from those a uh, couple of cards where when the process of those insights is over and you kind of systemize your new system of beliefs then uh, you will be able to restructure severely your life in general and to expand it in big way so that being said this was the tarot reading for scorpio now let me shuffle the lenormand cards and let's see what they are to show us the lenormand cards are to show us for a scorpios a event that we should either uh, look forward to or uh, try to avoid so the first one this is going to be the coffin the coffin is associated with uh, 
stop with endings and with uh, basically ending and beginning it's like the death card in uh, in tarot then we do have the um, the bucket the bucket is associated with bonuses with um, uh, kind of like benefits and so on it's kind of like the uh, the results of one's effort, the positive results of one effort. And then we do have the star, which the star in Lenormand is associated with finding the right way. Again, the insights here, how to find the right way. So yeah, what we do have is like salvaging, you know, here with basically how it uh, how it reads, it's ending in a new and a new beneficial beginning, which is going to show us the way. So uh, what we can see here is, is that this cycle of development at the end is going to require from us you know to abandon some positions all right and just to focus on the exhilarating part of uh, our new goal or of just sustaining whatever we have achieved because this is going to be very beneficial era of our life that is going to define our way for how to advance forward with our future. So that being said, Scorpios, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for, November, for December 10th to December uh, 16, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And again, uh, this was just a general reading for Scorpio star sign and it was not your personal reading. Therefore, in this video, I explained the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread. But at the end, it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that will be a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.